Well, hello there, then, YouTube. It's about 22 degrees and I got up this morning. I think it's 25 now, although it feels just as cold. But uh, nice thing is, it's Friday. Friday the 16th of December. Man, is that foggy cold out there. Dogs are all out running around playing. They love these cool temps, too. But it has that, like yesterday, kind of a frosty, cold, crispy look to it, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, let's bounce. Let's start off with Friday. Danny boy, is it going to be a cold one today, huh? <laughs> Holy mo- Oh, no. You know Why do you do that? You Man. Foggy down here at the old truck stop. It's nice out here. Man, them roads were icy. Just put her in snow mode and she just tractors along like a billy goat. Look at that, $389.9. And I know your prices will vary. And I know you can't help yourself but to talk about your prices. But for us, that's 50 cents a gallon less than what it was three days ago, four days ago. That's pretty good for us up here in the high gas price Pacific Northwest. And then there's you guys across the pond that go, you don't even know what high prices are. Here comes the comments. <laughs> I love it though. So stop, stopped here for gas at GC's and Kelly's. I don't know, getting Christmas gifts out of GC's. There's a little something that I think she's getting it for the kids. Anyway, I jump out of the car and this has got a self locking gas cap thing. You know, you go out there, you just push the door and you know, fob's gotta be around or it won't unlock, you know. There's no keyhole or nothing to open it. No push button inside here is nothing. But uh, anyway, um, so I'm, I don't know what's going on? I go, did I leave my fob in the car? And no, and, I, and I'm like, what is that sound? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, that's the act you're running. Yeah, it doesn't like you to open the gas cap thing. Oh. I can't, I can't show you that. I was recording something. Somebody oh. might see that. Oh, that's true. That is no. literally the cutest thing ever. Isn't that cute? Oh, my Lord. I know. I'll have to show you guys those at Christmas. Yeah, that is so cute. So how I realized the car was running, Kelly, is the gas cap thing wouldn't auto open. Oh. I'm thinking, <laughs> well, I drove it here, so I have to have the fob. I feel the fob in my back pocket. Then I, I'm like, wait a minute, that's the accurate run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll. Shockingly, after all that cold, we hit woodland, and all of a sudden it jumps in the 30s. It's 35 out there now. Like, what the heck? Man. Craziness. Everything was just white and crispy, and all of a sudden it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird how you just kind of hit that wall and the yeah. temperature changes. Well, Mama, yes, it's uh, Friday. It is Friday. It's the hey. very beginning of the end before the weekend. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know where I was going with that. But yeah. Anyway, have yourself a wonderful Friday. You too. And I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. And then we'll slip out of here tonight. Start a weekend. All right. All right. <laughs> love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye, bye. now. <laughs> Irony of talking about the peace and tranquility of being down here yeah that just came to an end I'm telling you guys about never seeing this thing it's just always in idle mode it just says maintain which is it's trickling something at it but it doesn't show any amount I don't know but I never see it flashing in a test mode so I just recycled it and look at I mean it's throwing the full boat at it so we'll keep an eye on it and i'll test it man i don't know if i can get the camera in there with it up in the air uh, i don't know if you can see that but their saws all thing once they got the dash and all that stuff out of the way they just chew the side of that fork man but this uh gsa recovered itself so I came over, put my tester on it. It's showing good. So she's just 
in just a maintain mode. If you guys noticed when I was pointing at my Optimate 4 uh, CAN bus, I don't have the little icons on there. I'm sad. I'm not going to buy another one, not the price of that. <laughs> but yeah, the battery test good. Had me worried because initially when I was hooking the thing up, it was in a save mode, which means, you know, it was depleted. Man, I will be picking up aluminum shavings. I don't know how many times I've had to stop, clean my bench off, run a dust mop across the floor. As I'm taking stuff off, just chunks of, of aluminum is falling out of there. Crazy. It's a bummer about that fork. Is that the, oh, it's not even locked here. I'll get you a good look at it here. It's so, throw some studio lights at it. How about that? Third floor, lingerie. Gouges. Totally hidden. Well, the camp down here has got itself a little bit of a problem. You could see see more a while ago, but yeah, that happens down here every once in a while. <laughs> so I've been clicking away on this thing. I've got the whole clutch lever assembly, a new cable that's it sitting right there. The cable got all kinds of tweak. But I got the ignition switch in. I need the uh, the key for the bike. The owner has the key because I got hauled in in the truck. So new triple tree, ignition switch. Just kind of plugging away at her. Extra stuff as you go along. What is all this? That's an expensive cab, fancy screws. Look at that light on the building. It's that time of year, snowmobiles coming in and going. It's funny, it goes from watercraft to snowmobiles. Snow's a coming. Guess there's some snow coming next week. Don't know how bad. Ooh. Oh, it's snow on the top of those mountains. So I wasn't going crazy. It was a lock cylinder and the two swing arm badges. They were there. We just had them in stock and Kelly pulled them when the initial order came through. It was in this little small sack and out of sight, out of mind. Wow, that's beautiful. So by the time the fire department got here, those guys got their their rager under control, but they still rolled out there with some stuff and super extinguished it. <laughs> Crazy. Didn't hear any of the little gas can canisters go off this time, so that was good. <laughs> Open says me. Close says me. Oh, it's Mount Rainier or Mount Hood back there in the background. The trees are covering it. These are those light so These two have been out for a couple of years. It's really expensive bulbs or something. But that right there makes all the difference in the world. I can see it actually cast out, you know, into those pallets and stuff. But without those things on, from the inside looking out, you're just staring at a mirror. Looks like that, but from the inside, that ain't good. It is still kind of a mirror look if you get back. See how you can see my reflection standing here. But as it gets darker, it gets worse. But those lights make those pillars shine and, and if somebody walks past her, I can see them. Before, I had a truck driver come and just bang on this door. I don't know how he got in. Somebody left. When they left the gate open and he just comes wandering in here and then he found himself stuck in here so he's pounding on the door man that gave me a heart attack <laughs> <laughs> so everything went smooth today we discussed music and stuff like that um yeah we'll be all right at least i'm not alone he's kind of a quiet guy too so it'll all work out it's just the music i can't stand 
I would never force my music on someone, and I would hope people would respect the same, you know. But uh, anyway, and I can't film because, uh, you know, for obvious reasons, I'll get copyright strike. But he's got some organizing to do, and life will go on. <laughs> Dang. So I'm missing this lock. And the way I read it, I thought it was, like, keyed. I do have the tumbler for this, but I need the, the bike key to get it in. And, um, anyway, so I knew I needed the one for the for the rear. Because they, they just hack the thing out. So here's the new bracket. It just needs the key to go in. And then I'm like, I'm, so I'm going, I know I ordered it, which I did. It was just in that bag. And I'm going, what about the fuel cap yep it's the same as that it's just open and it looks a lot like it's one of those kits it looks a lot like this it's a repair kit that almost looks like the ones for the bags for the GSA and stuff doesn't it and there's my little badgy things for the swing arms I'm looking at that thing and I get the part numbers and I'm going, I clearly remember putting those on there. And Kelly pulls the list up. She goes, yep, yeah, you had them. And yes, I pulled them. The only thing she didn't have was the tank lock. And then we got that damaged fork. See, that's how you miss it. And then, of course, the dash is out here. I just didn't see it. It's more, I don't know, it's gouging here pretty good, though. So I think we're going to bail on that. So you guys remember years ago, we came to this Fred Myers, this is off of 117th in Vancouver, and we parked over near somewhere, we're near the road, and it was pouring down snow. Went in there and did some Christmas shopping. But we did, hiding back there. But we just did some Christmas shopping again today. That's crazy as heck. That's what I get for recording without looking at the camera. I mean, sit, come in the car, I'm chatting away, Kelly's getting in, and I look, and Sherry's over there, hijacked my thing, it says use with another, it said something about connecting to an internet, and I go, uh, no. Yeah. Well, it recorded some up until I was jumping in the car, but. It's got dirty windows. Yeah, very dirty. But yeah, pouring down snow. I remember that day. Yeah. God, that's probably been four plus years ago. Oh, at least. Yeah, about four. Because yeah. we didn't have the truck that long when we came here. Yeah. Pour down snow. That was cool. <laughs> that old truck, boy, that thing was like a snowmobile. You can go anywhere with that thing. Just yeah. point it and go. Another yep. All right, Mama. All right. Let's bounce. Down the So there was a uh, crash on the freeway. So that's why we decided to just go ahead and do that Fred Myers thing tonight. And um, you remember when we first got this actor, we went to Lowe's. That Lowe's is like right across the street from the Fred Myers. But anyway, obviously the crash thing is still going on because she has taken us way out into the country. Hey, great. Yeah, oh, that was I'm trying to get the camera going quick enough. But man, some crazy hills. And the lights, you know, they don't go or over the hill. I'm like, um, feels like we're about to drop off the edge of the earth. <laughs> Yeah, but some beautiful Christmas lights, all kinds of cool things were going on back there. She's taking us on a wild, wild route, but it, it, with each turn, we are going the correct direction. We need to go further west and a whole lot of north. Yeah, it's a serious mess out there. There's I-5, that red line at the top. And uh, here we are. Yeah, what a mess. Oh, we made it home. That was crazy. Yeah, that thing was, that crash was still going on on the freeway. And where we pulled on in, back onto the freeway out of battleground, it was right at the end of the red line. <laughs> we caught just at the end. I think it's like 29 degrees out here. At least that's what my watch says. I didn't pay attention to the car. It's cold. All right, let's get everything buttoned up here. Well, hello there, YouTube. Wow, we know these 
kind of trips coming home were going to be like that? Just, yeah, that was a long trip. Yeah, that was crazy. That ways had us making more turns. I mean, we were left and right, mostly, mostly right and left, right and left as we're going west, north, west, north, west. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. And then finally, it's pretty out there, though. Yeah, there were some really oh. cool roads. Lots of Christmas lights, beautiful houses, and it was very nice out there. Took mm-hmm. me a pretty sure I thought I knew where we were going, and I'm going, I don't, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> and then finally it popped out in a place that we that we know. Yeah. <laughs> we go, I know this road. This yeah. is one of the back roads you take when the freeway gets messed up. I don't know what all the deal was or what happened. All we heard a customer that was heading south coming to our store trying to get there before we closed type of thing said he was stuck in southbound traffic from all the onlookers looking at a semi truck that was overturned. And so Kelly comes running down there and goes, you might want to take a look at what the trip home is. And it was just red. Yeah. So that's why we went and did a little Christmas shopping and stuff and, Worked out good. Yeah, and took a long, very back road ride home. <laughs> but after all those back roads, we ended up in Battleground. I'm like, man, we should be home by now. I know. That's a long ways to go. Jeez. But it was, like I said, it was beautiful. It'd be nice if it was daylight and you could actually see what you yeah, were definitely. What you're doing out there. Explore that on the bikes. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. That'd be a cool way to come home you know just yeah. break it up a little bit you know so that one route but we gotta at least go by the the gist mill we haven't mm-hmm. been by that thing a long time we haven't i don't think we went there by there even once last year mm-hmm. or this year i mean yeah that's weird so. yeah it's, it's one of them years enough. yeah you just sometimes you get things done sometimes you don't <laughs> yep <laughs> Other than that, it was a beautiful day, very cold. It's like 27, 28 degrees out here now. Everything's yeah. all glittery and crispy and crunchy out there again. Man, cold. Yeah, well, I'm ready tur- for summer. <laughs> yeah, if it turned rainy all of a sudden, that'd be one heck of a snow event. Yeah, it would. And sometime next week they're talking about snow, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Yep. They can't predict six hours ahead. How in the heck are you going to figure it? Next week sometime, yeah. you know. It's a probability. Yeah, we'll just yeah. see. <laughs> but Mama? Yes. Colder than heck out here. Yes, it is. So we best go, huh? Yes, ma'am. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday. Thank you. All right. All right. We'll see you then. See ya. Thanks for watching now. <laughs> Bye-bye.